<laughs> Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to an episode of A Plague Tale. In the last episode, Hugo went missing. He ran off on his own. So now we're trying to find him. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Hugo. Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. Is that a, a, a village? Here? Yes, yeah, it's a village. Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please. Oh, Amicia. Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Kulavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood. But to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go. And pray there is still time. Mommy, I saw a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! Let go of me. Leave me alone. Hugo. Where are you? It's him. I want to go home. Hugo. Let me go. He's there. Thank you. Stop shouting. Ah. So that's where you were. Ah. Amicia. I'm here. Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Hey, are you okay? Mother, they didn't that. hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard mommy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare. That's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. You but gotta tell him the truth. She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. Amicia, you're gonna have to tell him the truth. Or else he's gonna find out by himself. Mommy! Amicia, it's Mommy! What? No, you're not going. But why? Let go of me. Hugo. I'm coming, mommy. Come back. <laughs> Just watch. This is a dream inside of a dream. No, Hugo. There, she's in there. Mommy. Stop. It's not her. Ah. 
This is definitely another dream sequence. I think Amicia was the one tripping on the medicine then. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. Oh dear. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. It's a rat. Oh god, I'm playing as Hugo. Chill out, Hugo. Four nights in a row I've been on Eddie Sandwich duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Pippa. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. Can't risk that. I'll wait till I have to wait until he goes back. Because I think that's something I have to do. There we go. Oh, Easy. So big. Where's mommy? Material of materials. Gold unique. By breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the chosen one. is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. There we go. Just 
sneak on past. Fuck. The Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the fight. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge on his feet. Ad Luca. Ad Luca. The exact way I need to go. Hey down there! The distillate is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. reach the objective I hope so because that's all we'll be able to produce it is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities of episanguis his faith protects him it protects us all hey afraid. Afraid. In the city during the conjuration you on the list yeah I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral oh so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again after the end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. The end of the bite. Oh, wow. How convenient. How am I supposed to see that? There's literally nothing you can do right there. Oh, now the smoke wants to appear. So the entire first... <laughs> the entire first time of me trying to get through that area, the smoke didn't literally come out. Makes perfect sense. That's enough. I demand to see Vitalis now. The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monsignor, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you more cautious. <laughs> Madness. Don't listen to them. The most... <clears throat> Ah, come on, he'll go. Calm down.
Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. That was close. The Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening earlier. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, Master or slave? Order or chaos? But how can we be sure? Be very, very quiet. We avoiding detection. Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. Oh dear. Hey there, my man. I appreciate you not being directly over me. Fuck. Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally move. Huh? <laughs> Luckily, he's an idiot. Uh... Yes, I found mummy. Stupid Amicia doesn't tell the truth or anything. She's in the basement, they said. I have to keep going down. Yeah, but which way? Which way is down? Not this way. I could walk around for just a little bit. Scene. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. The 
Portalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... If I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Hmm. Proceed. Yikes. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. One can excommunate a man, Archbishop, <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commands. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. Who is with us? Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice de Rune has regained consciousness. He just turns around. He just turns around and says, I know you're there, boy. I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. Oh, stupid. But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Quickly, follow. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her? Go that way. You son of a bitch. What is it? 
What? He didn't say anything. <clears throat> you saw nothing. Fucking A. Guards everywhere. <laughs> As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis's conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mammy without him. Luckily, he doesn't look down. Uh, that is rats. Uh, tell me. You're new. Why can't I hear you like the others? We have to transport them. You have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a radical change of diet. <sighs> Good. Hey, kid. <gasps> Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he waited a while. Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you. You'll all go to hell. You and your fucking rats! All right, just make sure. Are you gonna come back to him? <clears throat> I'm assuming not. That was close. Savor this respite. Your death is not an end, for your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. Oh, 
Okay. Jesus Christ, you walk very slow. If she sees her son with a knife to his throat, she'll cooperate. Quit closing the door on me. <laughs> Jesus. So Lord Nicholas go past. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Uh, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh no, she's way too stubborn. But no match for our fortune. You must be here. Ah, please. At least let me die get out. out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh, that's that. Doing here? Shh. I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh goodness. You shouldn't. Sorry, I need to go. Goodbye. <laughs> yes, we gotta keep going on. Be very, very careful. It's now like I got caught several times already. For the last time. Will you answer my question? Perhaps you are still upset about what happened to your husband. Right. Our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. Hi. You go, but, but so they. Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia. Yes, Amicia lied. My darling, you must go if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo, did they take your blood? Oh my God. Alright, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Alright then. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to meet the lady. Right. The least might give me a promotion. Authority, self. I thought you were right, then. efficient. Not the room no, woman has the skin of a real lady. So soft. Anyway, the knives are sharpened. Hammer, pliers, vibrant sword, everything is ready. Have I forgotten anything? Hmm. With the captain around, the best double check. With the cages? Come on. Quick, quick. Hey, the cage broke. Shit, we need to go. Move, move. Well done. Go away. Quickly now. The key.
Where's the key at? Lanterns. They don't like lanterns. Oh, it works. Shoo. Other way, Hugo. Which which way is it? Ah, oh, the keys are over there. Fucking A. That laid me alone. Yes. You see me, sir? I'm just going to... Ah! My head. Stop shouting. Ah! Chill out. Chill out. Turn this light there. And then possibly turn this light over here. Ah, they can still get by. I have to get them out of there. And maybe with the other lantern. I did it all by myself. Need to turn this light a little bit to the uh, left. There we go. Excuse me, you rats. I did it. Well done. Come quickly. Yes, let's get you out of there. It's all right. No one will hurt you now. My hero. How do you feel? Your head. It talks to me all the time now. And what does it say? It says it wants me to join it. Join it. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm -hmm. Yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. But you answered it. Well done. You see? Screams. They must have let rats loose on the prisoners again. Come on. Find this document and get out of here. What? Rats? No! No! <laughs> Run, you big coward. You're scared, aren't you? Oh, Hugo, this is not a game. This power is dangerous. You have to control yourself. Yes, Mum. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a... it's a gift. 
I'll explain later. A gift. A gift. Ah, you found her. Oh, oh maybe I'm going crazy. I wish you luck, my friend. Wish you luck in your final hours. did they do to them? They make them eat people's blood. Really? Yes, it's strange. I can feel the black rats, but not these ones. I see. We need to find a way to get out of here. Excuse me. I need you all to go inside that corner real quick. No. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, <coughs> Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? Oh, no. So, Beatrice, you are reunited with your son at last. At last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula. And it has not yet finished with him. Which means, neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. 
What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? I beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, you have yet to see just how. Just how, huh? Come on, Hugo. You, you can continue. It's reacting. Continue. Stop torturing him. I'll tell you everything you want to know. It's too late. Come on. The child is weakening. Yes. Devour them. The threat of the race you. Pass to the other side. No, Hugo, don't listen. Come to me. I'm ready My to die. My son, don't forget who you are. Honor. No, they killed mother. Fucking A. Rats, why didn't you go to the other guard? Fucking A. Come on, rats, devour him. Oh, dear. That's enough. something. Hugo, can you hear me? Oh no. He is powerful, but he has not reached the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia. It's Amicia. How tiresome. But he's close now. I'm we close. Pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone! What else do you want? <laughs> A lot more. So much more. And you will stay here with me to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. We shall succeed. Oh dear. <laughs> She's awake. She yes, Amicia is awake. Arthur and I tracked you down, but 
You disappeared for three days, Amicia. Three days? You almost died. We were so worried. Hugo. Leave me alone. He's just gonna go back to sleep, Amicia? A month. You literally waited a month. Stop dreaming. The others must be up. The rats will be coming. We need to light the fires. I want it. Come on. Please open, will you? Okay. He must be doing something up there. We'll figure out what it is inside the next episode. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. If y'all did enjoy this video and you want to see more Plague Tale, please let me know by, uh, by leaving a like and leaving a comment. And if you are new, please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on a video. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day and I will talk to you later. Goodbye everyone.